So in the previous part, we have derived the expression of equation of motion of the system considering the D. Lambert principle. Now again, use this energy principle to write the equation of motion of the system. As I said that in case of energy principle, we follow the law of conservation of energy. That means we actually write the total energy of your system and then we differentiate the total energy with respect to time and that will actually zero. So this, this will actually give you the expression of the governing equation of motion. But in the given system, there is a damper which is not contributing as a uh, conservation of energy. Whatever energy in the mass and the spring are actually going to be conserved but the C is actually dissipating the energy. So what we do here? Hello viewer, this is Ashish Purohit and I want to inform you that I am available on Unacademy now. We write the total energy ignoring the C part and then we write the C as an additional part. So what we actually do, we write the work done by this uh, damper and we consider it as the integration Cx dot dx. So this is the expression for getting the work done because of this damper and ultimately it is going to give us the value of your C equivalent. Similarly, we are going to write the total energy of considering the energy of your mass and the spring and we will differentiate it and ultimately we will get the K equivalent, M equivalent and finally we can arrange our equation of system. So I am again going to consider that the system is moving in this direction amount X so there will be a rotation of theta in the pulley and there will be a velocity of y dot. We know that x is equal to r theta and y is equal to 2 r theta. So y is equal to 2 x or y dot is equal to 2 x dot. If I will write the total energy expression for my mass, I will put 1 by 2 m x dot square the energy rotational kinetic energy of the pulley so it will be 1 by 2 i theta dot square and the potential energy in the spring that will be 1 by 2 k x square so as i said that i am going to separate out the two part one is the conservative part of your energy where we have the conservation of energy that means in the spring and the mass and we are going to differentiate this expression at the same time, we are writing the work done that I am defining as the external work done because of the damper and that will be integration of Cx dot dx and it is actually between any two position of your damper. So I will separately integrate this and I will get the expression and I will separately differentiate it. So when I will differentiate the total energy, my expression will become what? M x double dot. I am not giving details in between because we have solved a number of problem so when you will differentiate it you will get the expression if you are not understanding this please watch my other videos so mx double dot and before doing the differentiation we have to replace the theta dot so actually this half i theta dot square can be written as 1 by 2 i x dot square by r square and then i will differentiate this term so far finally i will get i by r square x double dot and here I will get the kx value. Hi, this is Ashish Purohit and I want to let you know that I am also available on an academy platform. Thank you. When I will do the integration of this part, I can replace actually this is the general expression but in my case the damping force is defined by what? The damping force is cy dot. So I can write that this work is nothing but the fd and your dx or dy whatever you are having in the current case this f this external work will be what it will be integration of cy dot dy but i have to write the expression in x so here also i have to change the y in x so ultimately i will get integration this is my external work will be what c y dot can be written as 2x dot and I know that y is equal to 2x so dx dy is equal to 2dx. So here also I can write a 2dx and ultimately I will get that this expression will be what? 4cx dot dx. x1 2x2 this is my x new. So here you can see that this 4cx dot is actually giving you the damping force. This is your fd. I can replace this or I can use this damping uh, term in my expression and finally what would be my entire expression it will be mx double dot plus 
i by r square x double dot plus 4 c x dot plus k x is equal to 0. So this is how we can again write the equation of motion of system by considering the energy approach. It looks a little bit off track because we have to consider the damping part separately but let me tell you this is also a very helpful method because every time you have to simply integrate the damping part but you have to keep in mind that you have to use all all the parameter as a single means you have to either use x y or theta i have changed the y here in terms of x and then only i can write this entire expression and if you will compare this expression with our previous expression that these two expressions are exactly same so if we are converting the given system into an equivalent stiffness mass and uh, damping system so i can replace it that this is b so my m equivalent is nothing but the m plus i by r square my c equivalent is 4c and my k equivalent is k so this is how we can write the equation of motion of this system where in addition to the mass element as well as the spring element we are having a damper i hope that you now you are able to write the expression either using the energy approach or the force expression with this note i am closing this session thank you hi this is ashish purohit and i want to let you know that i am also available on an academy platform if you are liking my content on youtube Whatever I am delivering on Art Academy is definitely going to help you. There are free sessions as well as some classes on An Academy Plus platform. Currently, I am running a course of mechanical vibration, especially for the gate aspirant. I am going to cover entire syllabus of the gate and classes are already started. There are free sessions available. All details are given in the description. So I hope that the content I am delivering on An Academy will help you in your preparation. See you there. Thank you.